Hey guys, this is Kevin and Caleb here from RC Avengers. And we're showing you how to do droop on your Maestro RC Rock Crawler. So these are the basic tools that you need, like Kevin show you. You're gonna need just a Phillips head screwdriver. Small. Small. And then one of these screwdrivers, I'm not sure what it's called, but I think it's a hex. And with the hex screwdriver here, you're gonna need to take out a little nut for your back tires right here so you can get these back tires off of there it's just going to be a little nut like this once you take that off you should be able to pop out the spring here which we've already done that let's let Caleb show you what we're working on okay since it would take so long to be able to show all y'all guys on YouTube on what well, all step by step we did we're just going to show you already what we did this it's the rock crawler, as we all know, but to, it's taken apart. And we're doing what you call droop. If you don't know what droop is, it is where you take off the springs and you make it move freely. What is that? What that does for you is not only does it give you more more travel, which you really really need, but it also makes it center of gravity better because the chassis, as you can see right here, falls down. And that's really good. Oops, sorry. With, that's really, really good because whenever you're going up a hill, you need as much weight down low as you can get, so you won't go boom and flip over. Which, of course, you don't want to do that whenever you're on the rocks and just ruin up your whole drive. So, you gotta take that off, take off the suspension on the back and the front. The front's really easy, but the back, you have to take off the back tires, like Kevin was saying. And if you want to get over even bigger rocks, you know that little front guard in the front? If you've ever seen a Mesto Rock Crawler stuff, you take that off. That'll get you more, be able to get over bigger stuff. It's really good, but you leave it on the back, just in case if you slide off the rock. It'll hit the back, and, and it won't mess nothing up. Which is really, really, it's a really, really awesome rig. The only... Downside about it is the steering. I don't know what happened to it, but it just quit. So if y'all did that, just comment below. Now let's put it back together. Alright, let's put these tires back together. Okay. So what you're going to have to do is take your hex screwdriver here. So and get your tire. Tried. Well, I don't know what it's called, but screwdriver that looks like that. Then you want your nut that you've taken out. And what you're going to do with the nut is get your hex screwdriver and just put it in there. And slip it down into the tire. Pick it up for me where you did. There. You're just going to screw the... Then you're just going to screw it back on there. I think I'm turning the wrong way. No, I'm not. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny, people on YouTube? Kevin doesn't even know how to screw in screws. Okay, so that tire right there is put back on. Uh, let's let Caleb do the other side. Okay. And, and while you're doing this, be sure you don't lose any of your screws. We had ours in a little little uh, area, air compartment here where we just put them all over there. And uh, these are the springs that you'll be taking off. We're going to try to find some on the internet. Oh, well, these are the springs you're going to be taking off. We're going to try to see if we can find some on the internet. A lot better shocks, like hobby grade. See if we can't put them on there. If we don't, that's better because I, I'd i much rather have droop. It would be better for this kind of setup. And with what, your, your uh, antenna... I don't know if you can see it, but if you don't like that thing banging around and stuff, just stuff it up under here. Can you get, can you and this it? is the top base that you're going to be putting on there. Right here, this the little black thing. Okay, chassis. set it on there. No, that ain't the chassis, Kevin. Whatever Come it's on, called. Kevin. Gotta pop them back into place. Oh, and make sure that you pop your drive, shaft, drive shafts back into the place. The fake ones. Fake ones, anyways. Uh, we we'll just keep putting it. Just forget about this wire. We can, we can just keep it out. So you want to slip your wire through the hole over here. And we have no rehearsing on our videos, guys. So uh, that's why we're messing up. 
Uh, so once you slip that wire through there, you should pull it down. Just pull it on down over there. Hang on, Tracy came out. I mean the drive shaft. Okay, once you pop it back on there, you want to take the oh. Phillips head. Came out again. There you go. Okay, once you get that out on there, you want to get the Phillips head screwdriver and uh, screw them screws back in there, and you'll be ready to roll. Well, uh, you know, we'll uh, we'll make another video of it crawling. It's gonna be a much better rig. We'll have new batteries in it. Oh, maybe we can. No, we don't want a mud because. Well, we don't want to mud, guys. It's yeah, raining outside. Up. Might mess it up because the batteries are so close to the water now. Probably wouldn't look very good, but. And you might think, since it's so low to the ground, you're not going to be able to get over bigger rocks. But that is absolutely not true. We'll show you the suspension. It is not true. Now, everybody thinks, it's, oh, it's got to be jacked up to be able to get over big rocks. That ain't true. Because you need it to be down low to be able to slide over rocks if you just have them where it it's up high, like the actual wraith. I'm not comparing it, but I'm just saying up high will bottom out a lot, and you don't want that. Because you could be crawling and it bottoms out whenever it's jacked up and whenever it's low to the ground. Not a low rider, not a real low rider, but you know what I mean. Whenever it's low to the ground, the chassis is low to the ground, it slides over them rocks and you don't have to worry about bottoming out. If you look up the really heavy duty hardcore crawlers, they're like that too, they're low to the ground. Yeah. So, uh, once he gets done putting these screws in, I'll put my signal down in there. See that little black wire I'm holding here? I'm not sure. Ah, there we go. Okay. The black wire there. Alright, so, on your rock crawler, there's going to be these holes right here. If you have the body off. If you have the body off. And you just slide them through those four holes. I'll just slide my wire through there. Pull it through. Just pull them signals through there. There. Got that one through. And you just slide it through there. Put it over here, bring it back over to the middle, twist it around one time, get a bullet, and your signal's ready to go. So that was the signal, and uh, I should show you how the suspension works. Okay, we're almost done with the video, this is a very long video, so now we'll look at this suspension. Now this is wild. They're on the ground, boys, and that's how they have something you can get over. Much bigger rocks, better. Now that is how you set up a droop. Okay, now, Kevin, you gotta do whatever. Okay, now with this RC right here, I was driving yesterday and like I came in from the house. Um. And I was trying to run it. I had just put new batteries in there. And it wasn't moving. I was like, man, what's happening? I had found out that the gears were slipping. And I've only had this thing about three days. And the gears are already slipping. It's not a very good thing. This right here on the turning. You have to set the trim all the way over to the right side. It's like, man. So, see the little trim there? I got it all the way over to one side. That's the only way to go straight. Have it in the middle, it goes off to the left or the right. It just swerves. But, uh, it's really good. I mean, I, I don't, I don't recommend it. Um, because it's not really a good truck. It's just, well, I mean, it's not made for 11 year olds. <laughs> it's made for three, four year olds, you know. I just wanted to get something to wear. To let the record show, it ain't mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the arc, the rock crawler is mine too. I got uh, the tracks to summit. 
yeah. Wait, hang on, wait, the video is over with. Um, so I don't recommend this truck anymore. See, see, you can spin the back tires now, and nothing happens. Um, so I don't recommend it. And we'll make a running video of the crawler, um, as soon as I get the new batteries in there. Sometime this week. Sometime this week, yeah. And, uh,. Now, if you're looking at this video three or four months from now, the video will already be up, and you go to our, where it has a whole bunch of numbers, and where our channel is, and you click on there, and you can watch the, and you can watch the video of it. It's really, it's going to be a really cool video. It's going to be awesome. Thanks for talking with you guys. Oh, wait a minute. One more thing. Don't forget the tools you need. Remember, guys, you need the Phillips head. You need the hex screwdriver. And don't forget not to lose your screws. See you okay, later, guys. bye. Yeah.